Hey guys. Hello, hello. I never know how to start these videos. Here's a mess and I've only driven down to the end of the driveway. Anyway, um, just thought I would pop on here and just put my window up here. It's to get too breezy, too loud. That one's down, that one's up. Okay. I want to talk about, and, and there, there's so many people are talking about the same thing lately. And honestly, I think it's an epidemic. What is going on with all the narcissists in this world now? What is that about? Whew. It is hot one today. Um, and the gaslighting. You know, I, I have this suspicion that it has to do with uh, people ascending and people staying right, right, right where they want to be. So if you're a human and you like to be human, you like doing earthly things, then you're going to be very competitive. And this is just, just opinion. You're going to be very competitive with the people who are ascending to a higher, you know, to a higher energy. And the reason I'm, I'm saying this is because what I'm seeing is very messy here. I, I'm cutting my hair, just so you know. That's another story. I'm seeing a lot of people who are ascending that just don't want the drama. They don't want anything to do with drama. They're not stirring the pot. They're not causing trouble. Um, they want everybody to be happy. And yet, these are the people that are being verbally and physically attacked by narcissists and it all starts with the gaslighting the gaslighting I you know I, I don't I don't think that I have to explain to anybody out there or if I do I'm sorry um, if you're going through this I'm really sorry it is a horrible experience to have um, to have somebody gaslight you. What I've seen recently, it's, it's, um, it's very close to home. And if you're watching this and you know who I'm talking about, well, I'm sorry, but it's gotta be said. There's a lot of gaslighting, um, accusations of this and that and this and that. And when somebody gets um, to the point where they've just had enough and they say, look, all right, I'm pushing back now. I, I don't do drama. I don't want anything to do with your drama. The other person who is guilty of the gaslighting gets extremely angry, extremely combative, and then accuses the other person, the victim, of being childish and in the wrong and you're making it up then and then that person who I'm, I'm calling that person a victim absolutely you're a victim of gaslighting then the victim or the target I guess you could say target then the target gets marginalized by the rest of the community because the gaslighting is so good. It is so well thought out, so planned, and so convincing that that victim is now victimized by the community, the people that she he loves. The, the victim loves and is loved by the community. And now all of a sudden, the perpetrator has made sure that this person is marginalized, pushed to the side. You're no longer a member of the 
ashram, the, the community, the round table, anything. You no longer belong because you pushed back on my abuse. And that's another thing that I've noticed is that when it comes to the gaslighting and the narcissism, the, the perpetrator doesn't want, doesn't want to admit that they have an emotional issue with certain things going on in their life. And so the best way to stay powerful is to keep their target in a, in a state of frenzy and saying, what just happened there? And constantly accusing the target of certain things. And I can tell you, I've heard some things that were completely made up. They're fabricated. And the perpetrator has got so many flying monkeys out there that they're, they're believing that the target is in the wrong. Well, the target is not in the wrong. The target is just like, I, I have no idea what just happened there. What, what, why am I being attacked? What's going on? Um, and it all starts from that one narcissist who cannot deal with certain things in their life so they project those emotions onto somebody else making that target uh, their the negative feed that they they're addicted to drama their addic their addiction if it's not drama then it's something else, uh, whether it's addicted to shopping or addicted to alcohol or drugs or anything like that, addiction to anything. So when that narcissist is not getting their negative feed, they create something, they create a story and they put that story out there and then all their little flying monkeys say, oh, I didn't know about that. Oh, we should we should punish your victim even more without actually looking and seeing what's really going on. The only way to stop a narcissist is to stop believing every single lie, every single nugget of gossip. Make a point, and this is this, I'm telling you right now, make a point every single morning when you wake up to say, gossip comes to me to die. I mean, I have to do that. I, I have no choice because I've been a victim myself uh, a couple of times. One was extremely violent and one was just an outburst of violence that I didn't even see coming. And it was caught on video camera, not just a uh, not just pictures, video picture, like surveillance pictures, but actual video of this person coming after me when I'm saying, you need to back off, back away, get away from me, stop talking to me, and, and the violence. I was not physically attacked, but my safety was in jeopardy. And now I'm seeing so many people going through the same thing. If you know somebody, that is, I don't know if that's too loud. If you know somebody that is begging for help because this person is saying this and this, don't just automatically assume that you know facts. Investigate the facts, whether you are interested or not. Investigate those facts because if you continue with the gossip, then you're continuing the assault on somebody who is innocent. Make that decision, make that conscious decision to say, gossip comes to me to die. That's it. Um, the narcissist 
needs that negative attention. It's their, it's their addiction. They need the drama. They need everybody to say, oh, look at what's going on with this person. Oh, isn't that terrible? And then continuing on and on and on. Um, this lady walks so close to the road. I have to drive around her. Um, when you when you feed that narcissist the negative attention that they are craving, then they're they're not going to stop. They're going to crave more and more and more because every flying monkey out there moves the goalpost. And that's a challenge for the narcissist. They keep moving the goalpost. And and every hole is a goal. I know it's a pretty vulgar thing to say, but every hole is a goal as far as these narcissists are concerned. If they can get one person on board their negative feet and perpetuating their negative feet, they sit back proud as anything saying, look what I created, look what I did, this is awesome. And then they'll go out and they'll find more and more. And if nobody is on board, if nobody is on team narcissist, then, uh, then they create, they make up, fictionalize a story to get people to say, oh, poor you, that target of yours that you're abusing is just terrible. I can't believe that person is doing that to you. Just make that decision, please. I'm asking you, please. Oh, I should get some gas. Uh, make the decision to research. You don't have to go online and, you know, and, you know, that's not what I'm saying. I, when you hear gossip about a person, that's a nice truck. <laughs> Sorry. I need a, I want a truck. Um, when you hear gossip about a person, uh, don't believe it, number one, because if you believe it, you're perpetuating the negativity. And number two, um, ask around and find out what is really going on. Find out the facts. Number three, go to that person that you just heard this horrible rumor about. Don't come out and say, hey, I heard this about you. But if you know that person around the community or in your family or a group of friends or whatever, if you know this person and the gossip that you heard takes you back, like, oh my gosh, I had no idea that person was like that. If you can say to yourself, I had no idea that person would do such a thing, perhaps it's not true. Perhaps you just got lied to. Research the gossip, find out the facts, and help. And when you find out the facts, go to that person and say, this is what's going on. I, I want you to know that this is what I heard and, and make it stop. If we can make it stop, then, uh, that's how you make gossip die. Gossip comes to me to die. So you've got people that are that love being on the earth plane, doing earthly earthly duties, as I, I like to say, that are competing and thinking that these people that are just not into the into the drama, they don't want anything to do with the drama, they're competing with and thinking that I don't know, it's it's almost like it's almost like um they're intimidated by the by the ones that are sending to a higher consciousness. They're 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 moving up in the world. They are no longer tied to the earth. They want better things for their life. 
people that are tied to earth, they don't care. They just want to get up in the morning, go to work, do their job, come home, have supper, have a shower, go to bed. Boom. Done. That's their life. Good for them. They can have their life as much as we can have our lives. <laughs> so... Yeah, let's make this drama stop and let's help out our victims. If you can help one victim of a narcissist, then it's been a, then it's been a good day. Helping one victim leads to helping more victims because as you're ascending, and people that are ascending, they don't deserve the humiliation, they don't deserve the abuse, they don't, they don't deserve the confusion that is caused by the ones who are, in a sense, intimidated by people who are moving forward. And that's, I know, I was, I was just going to do a quick a quick video but it turned out to be about 17 minutes so 17 is a good number uh anyway let's move forward let's keep everybody happy and safe and to all the narcissists out there back off we can see you we know who you are we know what you're up to we don't care have a wonderful day everybody it's been it's beautiful beautiful weather have a great day Bye.